So charcoal is <clears throat> burnt wood and um, somehow it's been burnt and uh, it's really dusty and really messy. Uh, this is Conte crayon, which is essentially like chalk. It's compressed. This is actually mixed with a little bit of oil. Anyway, so we're gonna use those for our darks and our lights. So we're gonna start with charcoal. And first thing I'll do is just go over all my lines. The next thing I'm gonna do is put the shaded parts in this area of the ear, let's say that had some shadowing on it. And again, you can look at your regular photo off of your computer screen as well. And I'm just gonna scrub, which means I'm just gonna fill this in lightly like this. And it looks very jagged. And I'll do the same thing here. And then you can just use your fingers to blend. And we are sort of fighting the surface. So I'm gonna do that everywhere. I'm going to just use my finger on the edge, just on all these lines. I'm just trying to make this look a little rounder on the edges, on the outer edges. So now I'm gonna try to put in some highlights and a little definition, especially around the eye, it got a little, um, uh, it's hard to sort of see any kind of detail. So what I'm going to do is use white Conti crayon and uh, I just printed out my photo for you. So this is what I would see on my computer. And this is not really um, that clear on my drawing. So I wanted to pull up and look at the highlights. So I see lightness here between the eyes. I don't see the other eye. I also see some highlights here. I see a little bit right around the eye too, as well as on the eye. I see lightness here around the mouth, uh, you know, and then also around the nose too. There's a really dark areas on the nose and really light areas. And the last area I'll pay attention to is especially this edge has a highlight of the ear and over here as well. So look on the side of the body here, there's a little bit of highlight. So look at where all these little lighter areas are and start to now blend your Conte crayon in with some of the chalk. So this will blend, make it a little gray. You also might want to choose to use a brown um, sanguine color. This is a reddish brownish. Maybe that would be better for your project. Um, we have this in the room um, and it's available. Or um, if you happen to have uh, something at home that would color, maybe a color pencil or something that would add to your picture, you can use that too. So let's start.
I'm just using these um, this white in the brightest areas. Um, the other thing you want to do is have a little contrast. So in this area, it's really light right here. And then I have to go over this again with the black charcoal right up against that edge. So this way it really stands out. 